Hey everybody, everybody who watches this in the playback. Um, see if anybody comes in. But I'm gonna just get started, y'all. Oh, I'm a little tired. I'm just a little sleep. Not tired, but you know how you just need to lay down. Um, remember if you guys are interested in a personal uh coaching session or if you have any questions that you want to ask, you guys are more than welcome to contact me. My information is always going to be down below. Um also, if you're interested in uh, donating, you guys can do that. It's always appreciated. Most definitely. All right, let's see what we need to know, y'all. It's going to be a little smooth tonight. I don't think I'm going to turn it. I don't think I'm going to get rah-rah. I don't feel it. Ah, oh, it's that feminine energy balancing. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, what are the messages? What are the messages that the collective? Um, I wanted to say something really fast. Um, some of times, some of times, sometimes, um, we can have the dedication to an outcome so heavy on us, right? And that's eyelash glue right there. I know that looks weird when I look down. Um, we can have the dedication to an outcome so strongly in us that it becomes a part of us, becomes a part of our conscious mind or part of our subconscious mind. Um, because you can rest assured that for, uh, and like moving into the summer months, there will be a um, this energy of a surge of love. Like there will be opportunity for um, some of us who are single and have been uh, desiring to connect with someone that there will be that opportunity and but in the midst of that there's a need for uh oh my nose there's a need for us to surrender basically right so not to look towards the outcome of anything like just surrender even if there's a person that you strongly intuitively feel that um that is will come back because for some of you guys you're on the money but there's a need for you to just surrender. There's a need for you to, when you feel that energy, that that feeling of, um, uh, this is it. They're coming. I feel them. They're thinking about me. I damn sure was thinking about them and their name popped up in their head. Because remember I told you, that is a sign that someone is thinking about you when you're doing your, whatever you're doing in life and somebody's name pops up in your head, they're thinking about you, you know? And so, some of you guys are on the money. There will be um, a, re, a, re, a lot of reuniting, re, re coming together. Okay. A lot of coming together, um, even if it's for a brief, you know, uh, whatever. But um, just be open. Let your heart be open. Because for a lot of you guys, there has been a release in your heart. Okay. There's some healing that has taken place. And I know I've said that in, um, I've said that in other uh, readings. Okay, recently about the heart chakra opening and, you know, observing. Yeah, it's the time to just sit and observe and watch and wait. Not wait with intention, but just to, like, go about what you're doing. And um, hmm. also, somebody is observing somebody. This is an air sign. This is a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that is watching you and observing you. I don't know. Um, for, for all of you guys, it's going to be different. If this person does not have air in their sun sign, then there's some strong element of air somewhere, or they uh, are a very, uh, that's the, the the way they think. It's different. Where, um, like, they have somebody who may have a lot of thought-provoking ideas or things like that, right? Um, but they, they, they take their time. They don't just... You know, like a saver is a man who is interested in a, a woman or whatever. And they they look, they notice them long enough. They notice that they're attractive. They notice that they are intelligent, that they have a lot of qualities. But the, the, this particular uh, person, this uh, air sign could just be they're They're watching for something. I'm not sure what, but there is a air sign. This is an air. This is air for sure. What is the messages that we need observing? But it's a time for you just to wait. Oh, this is not even, this is, let's see. Whoa, no. 
Hold on, y'all. It never fails. All right, let's see if I can decipher the messages or I might have to reshuffle. Yeah, we're going to reshuffle because I'm not doing that. These things, yeah. This is watching. Yeah, somebody's watching somebody. That's what I'm going to stick with. Now, this may be a time for you if this if this resonates in the sense of you needing to observe something or whatever. Then okay, but this feels like the energy of somebody watching someone. What is the messages? Or you have yeah, a lot of people are observing you. It's almost like somebody's watching somebody to see if their actions match up with uh, the rhetoric that they put out there. What is the messages? Truth be told, somebody has a lot of love. Four, 14 breaking down to a five change. Somebody's like that mask. You see that mask at the bottom of this card? Like somebody's mask um, slipping down. I don't know what this is for. Some of you guys have been... Um, some of you guys may or may not have been uh, wearing a false mask. Like, in other words, not showing your true self. Not like all this love somebody has. Like all this love. You know, the song, Elder Bar. That's been my favorite song since I was a little girl. But all this love. Somebody has a lot of love. The truth is this person. Some of you guys, this is going to be a download that, this, that may come to you. Um, that you truly, truly love somebody deeply, or this is going to be a download. Somebody's going to be all up in the, the spiritual business of seeing that um, how much, how, how truly special somebody thinks that you are. I knew this was going to be a love uh, energy coming out tonight. I knew it. Mm -hmm. This is all love tonight. All love. It's all love, but you know what I'm saying. It's love. It's like somebody on the outside. Some of you guys may be desired by more than one person, right? Clean it up. Top shelf. The energy, that top shelf energy. Somebody's cleaned up a lot of um, the clutter in their minds, their brain. Like they're not letting, um, hmm. They're not letting these those that self sabotaging energy and thoughts come in and, and intrude on them anymore. When it comes to their love life, you know, like believing or thinking like that love is not for them or or, or healthy rather like let's flip it like a, a healthy relationship is not for them. It's for them, you know. And so like releasing those thoughts, clean it up. You see. Somebody, maybe it's you or somebody connected to you, like talking to themselves, trying to figure some things out. Like, is this what I really want? It's like before, this is that air energy. Let's go back to that air energy, that air sign energy. Is this what I really want? Because once I go there, I'm not I, I'm not, not going to be able to pull back that type of energy. You know, like, is this what I really want? You know. And the final question is, do I love this person? How do I really truly feel? Because somebody is realizing like they, somebody is really truly realizing that they love someone deeply, desirably, like they desire somebody, they love them and they, they want to take a chance. Now this is be somebody, like I said, going back to the air sign that could be watching you that knows you or don't know you. It's going to be different for all of you guys. This person could know you or this person may not know you. What is the message? I mean, like, you know, watching you on social media, whatever, like I do feel like it could be more than one person. I do. I'm going back to that. What is the messages? Messages. Because I'm happy. I'm happy. Somebody's happy. You're moving into this energy of happiness. Like you... Yeah, this is that air energy. Air energy again. We're going back to that Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Um, somebody may be realizing that either A, that somebody made them happy at one point in their life, or B, that somebody, 
We want somebody that's going to be an asset to us. We don't want a liability. You know, we want somebody that's going to be an a asset that's uh, that's not going to dump all their troubles on here. That's not going to need a captain, save a whole uh, whatever, you know, um, to save them. You know, we want somebody who even if they, you don't have, you don't need perfection, but you need somebody who is willing to do the work on themselves. You don't need nobody to fix you. We don't we fix ourselves around here. You know, um, you plant the seeds, you give, you talk to a person, you guide them. Everybody needs somebody to listen to and talk to at times, but we're not there to fix anybody. Okay. Time for a nap. Some of you guys need to get more rest. Some of you guys are not getting enough rest. Go to sleep. If you have to take some CBD oil or smoke a little some uh, mix. If you have a diffuser, mix some uh, peppermint and some lavender together. And that'll give you a relaxing type of atmosphere. And remember, I was telling you guys about sleeping with the windows open. That's going to help you too. Let's crack the windows open, okay? All right, let's move on. What's the message? Oh, the strength card. I love the strength card. It's for Leo's, but I'm just saying. It's a Leo card, but you know. We embody that energy around here. Three of Cups. This is a leveling up in your emotional world for a lot of you guys. Moving into this structured more. Like some of you guys went through a lot in this uh, pre-eclipse uh, uh, phase that we went through. And even coming out of that, some of you guys went through a lot. I don't know what it was. It was different for each and every one of us in, in over here. But uh, some, um, it's like moving out of that. Um, despair type of energy where you know you it's it's almost like oh it's almost like some of you guys oh, we we as a collective have healed um from that narrative of a wanting or needing somebody to rescue us or do anything for us remember what I was just talking about like we don't we don't heal people we we, we, we don't heal people. That's not what you're supposed to do. You heal yourself. You give people the tools. You learn tools along the way to aid you in your healing. But you, you can't heal anyone, babies. You can't do that. A healer is someone who inspires somebody, who plants seeds, who gives them the tools. But you cannot heal anyone, you know? The strength card, yeah, you're resilient. You're, you're tough. You're, strong. you're powerful. This gives me the energy of power. This is a powerhouse. Some of you guys could be Leos, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But let's see. What is the messages? I don't need a captain to say, but we all need somebody, you know, to help us and aid us or whatever on our journey. But we don't need somebody to rescue us and save us and heal us. That's what we do for ourselves. We're our own personal healers. Okay. What is the messages? What is the messages? Somebody, oh, okay. So also somebody is longing for a Leo. This could be a water sign, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Make it like it was. This song by Regina Bell, you know? But, oh, that blue. Um, somebody is longing for a Leo. What is the messages? Cancer energy, cancerian energy, cancerian energy, cherry card, the energy of for movement, power, strength. Um, <sighs> that's the <laughs> um, also travel moving, just some type of travel going on as well. Somebody's regained their confidence. Somebody's regained their strength. So somebody's regained something. They're back on their feet again. That's why I'm saying somebody, some of us went through some shit before that, pre, that, that eclipse that just happened. 
in that period, that was a lot of tra uh, transmuting, a lot of transformation, a lot of stuff came off. So like if you didn't have the insight or the clearness in your mind to see things, certain certain things or get certain downloads, right? All that fog was pretty much cleared up. This is a lot of energy of movement, 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 because a lot of stuff has been cleared up. You see what I'm saying? Cleared away. That's why I was telling you guys, I intuitively telling you guys to open your windows, open your doors and things like that before that energy came in. Because I went through it too. I went through it, y'all. I went through it. Um, so that energy, you know, of letting all that stuff go. Now we're it's clear up in here. It's clear. It's a clearness. Some of you guys may, it, it's some type of activation that even took place or is going to take place for some, some of y'all already got it. Chariot, I'm coming. What is the messengers? Slow person. This person takes their time. I told you that that energy came out. This is somebody who takes their time. They're not being rushed. You cannot rush their energy. I don't care how connected you are to this person. I don't care. I don't care how much this person loves you or you love them. I don't care how much this person desires you, dreams about you, thinks about you. They right there. You post it. Right? Don't matter. You ain't rushing this person. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer specifically, Leo. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. Okay. We ain't resting this person. This could be your energy as well. I do feel like this is some of y'all energy. I do. You ain't rich. You're like, I ain't rich. That's earth energy. That is definitely energy of a earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, specifically Taurus energy. You ain't rushing no earth sign. For you to for an earth sign to be able to be moved, you really got to hold a special place in that earth sign's heart because our earth sign ain't about to be moved. You ain't and, and it ain't stubbornness, it's just you know, and it goes not just for the earth signs, but for any of the fixed signs of Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Those are the type of signs, those are the specific signs that you are not budging, you are not moving. They do what they want to do, they move how they want to move, they move when they want to move, they go when they want to go. So some of you guys could be, y'all could be sharing the same type of energy with another person. What is this? Three of Cups, please. This is, um, this is so much you guys are moving into a different energy of fun and excitement and things like that. Three of Cups, please. Three of Cups. Ace of Swords, somebody not being optimistic that something will come to fruition. This is uh, air energy again. What is this fifth card? Being they need somebody needs to be more optimistic. Whether this is you or somebody else, this could be another situation though. Somebody wants to see you, a family member. What is the strength card? High Priestess. Strength card. The power energy, right? Like I was speaking of, the high priestess is, is, oh yeah, this is somebody who has went through it. I told you, it's almost like that last leg of something on your spiritual journey of healing. Not the last, because we're constantly going, ascending. But uh, where it may feel a little like tough, hard. It, you know, like I said, a lot of us went through it, right? What is the sherry card here for? Balance in the light and the dark, the shadow and the, and the higher self. What is this? Ooh. Why are my cards coming out like this? The chariot. There's a lot of different aspects to the energy behind this chariot card. This is somebody, the king of swords, who is not easily moved, not easily swayed, no matter how much they are, you know, whatever the circumstances are, they're not, they're going to take their time. They're not stubborn. They just, that's just how they move. That's how they roll. The devil card. 
because they don't want something to be toxic. They don't want they don't want to go through a situation um, that they may have went through before. This is also some type of addiction that needs to be healed for somebody. This is also emotional intelligence with the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, fear, addressing it, moving forward. And then we have the full card next to it. So trusting yourself. Yeah, that's the last, that's like almost like the last leg. And then five of cups, this is the energy that's right here. The fact that nobody, somebody does not want to be in this energy. This is a yucky ass energy. This could be you or somebody else with the five of cups and four of swords, somebody who carries this energy on them. So somebody's deciding like, you know what? I don't want to be around because this could be a, almost like a, a temporary small shortage of a blockage, if that makes sense, because somebody is carrying this. If you are an intuitive person, especially with this high priestess card right here, you can feel when somebody's carrying a lot of pain. You can feel when somebody's carrying this uh, very sorrowful like energy on them. With the three, the three of swords and the five of cups, this is not you. If this could be like where you might think it could be your energy, but this is somebody who could be tied to you. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Okay, strong emphasis on Pisces, where this energy is on somebody, and you can feel it. You ready to move? What's this Knight of Pentacles? Patience, endurance, like stability. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You are not responsible for anybody's pain. You are not responsible. And I'm not talking about your children or anything like that. I'm talking about an adult who feels entitled to what you have, you know, whatever that means for any of you guys, whether that's somebody else that you're dealing with or whatever that may be, you know, that, that storyline. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, please. This is some money coming in for some of you guys, but it's coming in slow. So the universe has some money for you, for some of you guys. Okay, this is safe. There could be some money coming in for some of you guys, but it's coming in in increments. Or it may not be coming in in the way. It may take a little bit longer to come in. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Let's see. Let's get a clarifier though. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Thank you. Yes, yeah, create some anxiety. Some of you guys, like I said, this... This energy now, this could be whatever this is. Take this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles does not move fast. Okay, it's steady. Like we're going back to that energy of that air sign who I feel it's not going to just, you know, where you might feel them energetically or they may feel you. Take it how it resonates. This is the energy of um, whatever this is that some of you guys are waiting for. This is creating some type of tension, some type of a little bit of anxiety there. Because you're not, okay, I really feel like this is tied into your money. Four swords. But some of you guys are ready to move. Somebody's ready to move. The Ten of wands. This is where you're needing to go within. Rest, relaxation. Ten of wands. Knight of pen, um, uh, page of pentacles in the uh, six of cups. Because uh, some of you guys got some reunions coming. I said that. Some of you guys are going to be reuniting. Now, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is all the elements because of the air signs right here. So this is that energy. Rest. Or some of you guys need to go within to make sure. Okay, okay, okay. Some of you guys off the rip. This is because this is more than one situation. Some of you guys are needing to go within to make sure because there may be an opportunity because some of you guys, your family stresses you out. You know, it's just, it's just, it's a hard thing to deal with certain people in your family. So if you have, there's an opportunity to come together for whatever reason, some of you guys are needing to go within, take some time and, and, and reevaluate this, this, uh, the situation. Not that you have to put your family off forever, but it's just, it, everything is timing. You know what I'm saying? If you just came out of something dark night of the soul, some of you guys just came out of, that's a lot. You're, you know, I have to go. Some of you guys may even have to go through a recovery period. So you don't want to just rush into that. Right. Some of you guys also have a lot of responsibilities coming up in regardless. In regardless, this doesn't have to be a, a reunion of family, but there's something that's coming up for some of you guys. What's this nine of cups? Somebody wants to get back into somebody's good graces because they see that they're doing better. I don't like people like that. What's this nine of cups, please? I don't like people who move like that. Nine of cups. Nine of cups, please. 
this is nine of cups trying to say focus on your own happiness just because some oh this is a lot of this is a spiritual higher hierarchy for some of you guys with the hierophant taurus energy very strong taurus energy somebody wants to marry somebody this is the energy and this came out before about somebody wanting to marry somebody yep what's the advice Oh, you got some huge blessings coming in. Ace of Pentacles. Yep. All right, you guys. That is it. We'll keep it simple tonight. I love you guys. If you need a personal reading, personal coaching session, you just have a question for $7, you guys can contact me. I love you guys. Peace.